At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Hey guys, and welcome back to this Two Point Hospital Let's Play series. We're on to episode 9 now. Um, so, as we left it last time, we had a few big cues still. Um, yeah, 13 there, 13 there. Uh, 13 there, 15 there. Originally, I thought it was due to um, not having the GP, uh, you know, the GP, uh, what's it called, qualification. Um, but you know what? I've gone away and oh, that that person hasn't got a GP's qualification. That that's a bit annoying, actually. So, <coughs> so what we'll do actually is we'll find the GPs. So there's one general practice. You're in there. That's perfect. You are not a GP, um, and then over here, what are you, are you a G so I've got a few, yeah, there's a few issues here, so I've got a bunch of GPs, um, I don't know how many exactly, um, let's sort these by, by qualif qualification, so you sir are working in psychiatry but you've got a GP, yeah, that's fine because we don't have that many psychiatrists, but you you're apparently looking for a job. I mean, why is that the case? Let's get you in, I don't know, in here? Or are you a psychiatrist already as well? No? Okay, let's get you out of there. Because you're, you know, you've got research skills and you've got uh, treatment skills and you've got stamina training, but you're not a GP. And to be honest, I want my GPs working in my GP's office. What are you doing? You're just slipping over on some liquid over there. So we'll get you out of there. Where are you now? Okay. So we'll get you and we'll put you in here because if I remember correctly, yeah, you also didn't have... Okay, so get out of there. So where's Ellie Styles gone now? Are you Ellie Styles? You're Ellie Styles. No, that wasn't what I meant to do at all. From the makers of Never Blink. Excuse me. So, Dr. Ellie Styles, you're not very happy, but we'll get you in there anyway. Get you in there. We'll give you a big bonus. There you go. Make you much happier. Lovely happiness. There we go. So, what we'll do is we'll we'll get into. We've got a bit of an issue because I think our people aren't that happy. So, we'll get a staff room. We'll get some facilities over here, essentially. So, we'll get a. Is that a five wide? Is that going to be okay? And then what will that leave us there? One, two, three, four, five. Will that leave us five? Five will be okay over there. And then what we'll do is we'll add on... I know it's a bit of a kind of corridor effect, but it'll just give us a nice bigger room in there. And we'll put the door... Should we put the door down there? Uh, it'd be nice if it could go there, but it doesn't look like it's going to fit, is it? That's a bit of a shame, but, you know, that's life. So we'll put it in there. Um, oh, I can't afford it. Right. Then what we do? Uh, yeah. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to take out another loan. Um, I'm gonna go to fifty thousand, hoping that that's sufficient. Um, we're running it on quite high speed at the moment, so I'll probably step it down one notch. Um, I'll put you in there. So we'll do five along as we did before, and then we'll put you out. Out to there actually works instead, so we'll put a door in there. No, no, we won't. We won't. We're gonna move that. We're gonna put that door there just in case we want to put something, you know, against that wall or something and that, that will keep that all out of the way. Some lovely windows keep these guys happy. Um, you know, there we go. A window onto the corridor as well. Uh, should we put a sofa down there or should we put some drinks machines? No, I'll put a sofa in there. Um, a locker in there. Put a locker in there, that'd be nice. Um, and then along the back wall here, um, get an armchair. That's nice. Couple armchairs. Um, and there we go, another sofa in there. So I don't really know if they want, you know, exercise frames. I mean, I know a lot of people in my office like to go for, do exercise at lunchtime, but to be quite honest, in my break, I want to sit around and do nothing. Um, if, that is if I get a break, I'm not too busy. Um, so there we go. And these guys will need some hand sanitizers after they've been relaxing and eating. The last thing we want is for them to be running off with dirty hands. 
I'll put that radiator. Let's not put it there. Let's put it right in the middle there. That's lovely. Um, and we'll get a bookcase in if we can. Along there. That's nice. Um, and a plant. You know me. I love my plants. And a yucca there. And a nice rug. One there. And one there. Um, actually, I'll probably get that and twist that round a little bit. Get it on a nice diagonal, I think, if it will fit. Is it gonna go? Is it gonna go? Oh, don't know why I want it there so much, but I do. No, it's not gonna go. Okay, we'll get it like that. Lovely, that's fine. Bit higgledy-piggledy, but that's the way I like it. So, actually, let's see. Um, let's see, can I get another? Let Maybe let's get another drinks machine along that wall. Another salty snacks machine. Um, and I don't know if they're necessary, but they get an extinguisher. Um, and a cloth on the wall. On Two Point Radio. You're listening to Two Point Radio with your resident weirdo, Harrison Wolf. And there we go. So now my staff should be a lot happier. Oh, you know what? I know I'm going to go in for a third edit, but that doesn't matter, does it? We'll have some nice, we'll have a nice little area where they can have a little chat together, you know, sit across from each other, give a little bit of a natter, all the patients that they've been dealing with. Obviously, they won't be disclosing personal information, and that's lovely. Fit in there still. No, you'll have to go along there. Lovely. So there's a bit of something on the floor. I don't even want to speculate on what that is. But we'll get another toilet in there just in case. Um, and I can't afford that item. Okay, wow. Uh, no, let's just make this room a little bit smaller for now. Um, hopefully I can now afford it. Um, can I? Door? Afford a door. Can I afford a Attention. toilet cubicle? Yeah. Um, and let's see. Can I afford a sink and a hand dryer um, and a big bin? Let's see. Uh, can I pick up that lovely little radiator? Put you in there to keep everyone very warm. Let's hover over the radiator. So if you hover over the radiator, it shows you. And I think over the plants as well. It shows you. No. It oh yeah. Eventually, it shows you like the pleasantness or so to speak okay so it's disgusting over there um and then let's see what we've got with this radiator here um so it's still a bit cold over here but we'll, we'll get that sorted um and let's hire some more oh we've only got three janitors so we'll hire one uh let's just let's actually get a whole bunch of you because we do need you you work fast um I mean, what do you do You've got good mechanics, so we'll hire you. Okay, that's good. So, how are we doing now? Um, our queues are still pretty awful. Um, I didn't really want to have to put in another GP's office because I don't really have the money. But there we go. Promote you. Promote you. Promote you. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Just to have a quick drink. Okay, now, what do we need now? No one's got bedside manner, so let's train up a few of you. Um, it's unaffordable. Okay. Um, yeah, to be honest, I don't really want to train you all in that because, yeah. Anyway, cure seven patients with grey anatomy. So I do have a room. Let's promote some people. Let's promote some more people. Let's keep them happy. Um, promote you as well. Right, can I train you? So Aldo Noble, uh, what do you want to learn? Anything. But you're a nurse. So, Aldo Noble, where are you? Nurse Aldo Noble, ready for training. Right, what do you want to learn? Should we teach you, you know what, let's teach you ward management, because we only got one of you, and then maybe we can add another person into, 
into the ward. Um, let's train a couple of you. So we've got three of you on the go there. Now, I do ideally need some... Oh! I did it! Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a two-star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. I hear that your research and development has been taking further strides. Bully for you. Continue with your studies for more awards or go elsewhere and expand your organisation. So I've got the Easy Scan 3 now and the Encyclopedia Book Encyclopedia Bookcase 2. Got a bit of money, got some kudosh, so that's good. So I'll just continue on here for a little bit. I'll just have a think about where I'm going wrong. So to be honest, I think the layout is pretty awful. Having these narrow corridors with these large corridors on this side just really doesn't work. It means that people are constantly moving through this small area. Haven't got any benches over here. People are for some reason queuing around here. Um, I just had to spend an extortionate amount of money on something, which I'm not really sure. Um, I've got people coming in left, right and centre. Yeah, I mean, generally I would say I'm doing a pretty bad job. Um, I mean, what I really need is probably another GP's office, but I just don't believe that one, two, three, four GP's offices isn't enough. I, I just can't believe it. And, and to be honest, I just don't know if I'm doing something wrong. So the queues are massive. I mean, this hospital was a bit of an interesting one. I tried out the reception area. Yeah, I didn't plan that out very well, so that didn't go very well. Um, I had more space, so I could have left, you know, at least one more block, uh, even from each side, and that would have given me a lot more space in the middle here, and probably would have let me have a much better layout. So it's not not a great, great I idea for me. Um, the toilets are filthy. People can't get around them. People are dying. All in all, I think it's probably about time yeah, we, we probably left this hospital, leave it for now, and we'll move on to another hospital. We'll just have a quick look at it, but then we'll leave this episode there after that. So what we'll do is we'll pop straight out to the map. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. So what is it? What's so special? So that one's the one we've just been working on, Mitten University. Two stars, so I'm not too unhappy with that. We only got one star in our last hospital, Flottering. So, yeah, we weren't doing that well on that one either. Um, but four years, six months to get to two stars, so it took me quite a while. Um, we've got Flemington, so do I need to get... Oh, I need to get another star in Mitten and get a star in... Oh, no, so I have to get a star in Tumble as well, which is this one. So this was Breaks and Bruises in the Subalpine Playground, the county's home for hiking, fishing and falling down. So I've seen a bit about this. They seem to have like a lot of fracture clinics, so we'll have to focus on those a bit. So let's dive right in. Treat all manners of breaks and bruises in this sub. Yeah, that's exactly what I just said. Welcome to Tumble. This small town attracts tourists from across the county to climb Tumble Ridge and hike along the Tumble Downs. Lucky for us, this generates hundreds of fractured bones each year. Cha-ching! We'll need to build a fracture ward to deal with these injur injuries. I recommend building a standard ward and other essentials too. Make sure to keep everyone warm with some radiators. Tumble has been known to experience seismic activity, so look out for earthquake warnings. We'll need janitors ready to deal with any damage. Right, I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to pause it because I didn't plan out my last hospital very well, I don't think. So it looks like this is one is pretty much the general entrance across the helipad, which is a bit unusual. I mean, maybe they're suggesting something that, you know, all the all the patients are going to come in that way. So we've got a few plots that we can work with. So there's plot three, plot two. What's this over here? Is that plot five, plot four? Where's plot one at then? Are these also? Are we knocking down people's houses as well? Is this plot one over here? Um. Oh no. Presumably the plot I'm on is plot one. Yes, how foolish of me. So they're quite small, these additional areas. So I don't know if it's going to be, you know, specifically only fracture wards, fracture, fracture patients. So maybe that might be a feature of this level. Um, but what we'll do is we'll probably just get in a few items right here, right now, just to get started. Um, and then we'll leave it here for now. So what was it saying? Temperature. Yeah, it's quite cold here. So we're going to have to get some radiators. So. I'm going to try out this reception area again. Now, I know it didn't work that well last time, so 
I'll just try it slightly differently. So what we'll do is we'll, you know, we'll pop that in there like that, just to give us a bit more room on this side. And then we'll put in a reception, you know, actually what we'll do is we'll put in four reception pods just for start. We don't, you know, we don't have to actually fill them all. A couple filing cabinets um, and a big bin in the corner. And it's interesting that this area has prestige as well. so. You know, you can fill this up with a few different things. Um, probably want a couple of plants, you know, just to greet people on their way in. Oh, that was wrongly placed. Um, so we'll move that over and move that. Is that the right place? Yeah, that's the right place. That's the right place. And we're almost at prestige level three. So what we'll do is we'll put in something else. Maybe a little chair, you know, next to the radiator. If someone wants to sit there and keep warm. Lovely. So thermal comfort's already at 24%. So we'll go straight away. I know we're definitely going to need a few GPs offices, and this is always one of my downfalls. So we'll chuck. It. I think what we'll do is we'll actually chuck in two straight away. So just a basic. Oh no, not that. We want to click on it and copy it. And what we'll do is we'll put in an additional row there just to keep us keep us all entertained. I'll put in a. Can I put in a weighing scales in there? Yeah, I can. A big bin in there. Big bin in there. Uh, you know what? They're going to need a couple of radiators. Um, you are going to need a bookcase, I imagine. Um, you're absolutely going to want to plant. And given it's a cold region, we'll put a yucca in because that's not weird at all. So we'll put a nice area rug over here. Um, maybe we can even fit one in there. Uh, that's nice, and we can probably fit a few posters in. So we're at level three. Um, we'll put some posters in here. That's almost definitely not at level three because of the um, uh, because of the size of it. It's a smaller place, um, and maybe actually I can fit some windows in. You know, that's that that would be a nice idea. So I can't do it here. But I can do it on that one. Um, and that will do that. So what I want to know is what level are you? Now that's a rug. What room level are you? So you're a, let's see, edit you, you're a level two still. So maybe I can get, I've got weighing scales already, hand sanitizer by the door. Uh, I can fit a bookcase on this wall actually. There we go, straight up to level three, lovely. So we've got that, so we need, so what are you? You've got training masterclass, that's fine. We can hire you. Um, also, we've got you, you're a customer service rep, we'll hire you. So we've got two assistants, that's good. And then doctors, I mean, there's not much on offer here. I mean, you've got emotional happiness, intelligence, which you, increases your happiness, so I suppose that's good. We don't want anyone to be unhappy. So we'll hire all three of those. Uh, nurses, I have a feeling we're going to need a few nurses because I think it's nurses that work in the fracture clinic and the, um, and the normal ward, or I think they're actually both called Fracture Ward, Fracture Ward and Fracture Clinic, yeah. So here we go. So what we'll do is we'll get a nice big, I don't know how big it needs to be. Does it need to really be that big? Can I fit that in there? Maybe I can fit something else in there? Yeah, we'll do that. Now we'll make it, can we make it one wider? One, two, three, four. No, let's leave it like, let's make it that big. Um, and we'll put the ward door in over here. We'll put windows in uh, there. Um, and oh, okay, yeah, these are quite sizable. So we'll get a traction bed. I don't know how many of these we need. So maybe we do need to make this room bigger, actually. You know what? Let's go. Let's go full full pedal. So we'll get a traction bed in. Another one in there. And we'll get a plaster. Does that fit in the corner? Yeah, that fits in the corner. Lovely, actually. I think, I imagine we need a nurse's station. Um, so let's get you in there, right by there. Um, we probably need more than one plaster caster, let's be honest. Um, so we get a few lockers in. Uh, filing cabinet in the corner. Weighing scales. Lord knows how heavy these legs and broken limbs are. Um, bins there and a hand sanitizer always needed as well. Um, you know, what would a ward be without a few plants to beautify the place up? 
Um, and you know what? I'm going to get another plaster caster down on this wall here. And then hopefully, ah yes, I can fit in another. Well, that's quite a cramped room, but you know what? I think I've done well out of that. So how many of these radiators can I fit in? And will they fit along this back wall here? No, they won't. They can fit in there. They can fit in along here. No. Fit along there. Lovely. You can fit in along here, can you? Um, I can probably fit in just between them, can't I? No. Ooh. Okay, we're going to do that. Yep. That is a very, very large ward, so hopefully, hopefully we can start making some money off those guys. Um, right, and I will, you know what, I'll put a regular ward down here. I'm not going to make that as big. Um, I'm not sure whether that's the right plan or not, but I feel like it just doesn't need to be as big, to be honest. Um, a changing room in the corner, and then get some of these beds in, flip you around. Uh, let's see, that's enough room, get them next to each other, pack you in, okay that's good, um, let's get some windows in, um, lovely, prestige level 3, and we'll get a locker or two in the corner, uh, lovely, and I can't fit, oh I can fit one in there as well, so uh, weighing scales along the back wall here, Oh, I've already got some uh, fractured patients coming in. We might have too many doctors. Yes, I, I would say we've almost definitely got too many doctors. But maybe I'm just burnt by that last level. So, there we go. We've got two GP's offices, fracture clinic. Let's have a look at this. And uh, we've fracture ward, sorry, and we've got a normal ward as well. That's very pretty. I really like the decoration on this game. Plants need, water. Plants need watering. Yes, please, janitors. Please go ahead and do it. Um, you've got an appointment there. So what we'll do next time is we'll, you know, build up this hospital a bit more. Maybe buy another area. Um, you know, put in some other little things. Um, yeah, you've already got some casts on you, so... Yeah, you obviously need to go straight here, so I'm not sure why you even went to the GP, but... Are you going to the ward, are you? Okay, you're too cold. We'll have to sort that out. That's one of the requirements, but we'll leave it there for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This was lovely to have a good, good little play on this new little level here on episode 9, and I'll see you next time.